Welcome back to the crew too guys as it's a new month It means there are some brand new vehicles for us to go and check out in this game Which is exactly what we're gonna do today on our great American road trip in case you missed it though last episode We built this thing our Mercedes GLC 250 which obviously got some pretty cool customization We've got like a carbon hood anyways if you missed that video I will link to that down below also down below will be the crew too if you want to check it out for yourself today though we're gonna be checking out the two brand new vehicles in this game, one of which I actually nearly purchased in real life. So say hello to the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Rally Edition. Yes, this is not a track racer, this is a rally cross edition of the GT3 RS, as crazy as that sounds. And we've also got this very, very bright red thing. The Audi RS5. For those of you who don't know, I am a huge fan of Audis. My favorite car is actually the Audi RS6, and we sadly can't get them in Canada, so this is actually the closest thing to it. Sorta of, kinda, of, we'll ignore the RS7. I was actually looking at purchasing an Audi RS5 this time last year when I was looking for my next car. Long story short, it didn't end up happening, but I absolutely have a very soft spot in my heart for the Audi RS5. Anyways, I thought it would be fun to whip these two vehicles out, check out the Crew 2 customization, and see what we could do. I want to start it off with this thing though, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Rallycross Edition. I was thinking we would take this thing and do some Rallycross races because it is just an absurd thing to see a GT3 RS that doesn't live on a racetrack, but actually lives in the dirt. So, let's open up our map and try to find ourselves a little rally cross race to go and do. I actually spotted one, yeah, it was all the way down here. The Dallas Squad X Rally Cross event. All right, Porsche, what are we racing against? I see a Lancia behind my car there. We've got the little Fiat, a bar, or the, 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 those things, the fake MX-5s. Okay, well, um, that, that didn't take a long time to overtake anyone. Well, let's go, little GT3. See what you can... Ah, uh, there's a deer on the circuit. Anyways, this thing is just super, super cool. Obviously, the best rallycross car in the game is Ken Block's uh, RSRX, which I doubt this thing would be able to knock down just because Ken Block's car is an absolute beast. And I mean, not to say the 911 GT3 isn't a beast, but different leagues. Let's, uh, I want to see the interior view for this thing because... I imagine it's had some, yeah, it's had some pretty extensive modifications to it. Like, it's a fully stripped out interior. Like, you think like, oh yeah, GT3 RS is light normally. Nope, this, this one's really light. Well, I think it's safe to say that it was literally one of the easiest races we've ever done. And I just bashed into walls for a couple of minutes. Yo, look at the mud on those rims. That looks so sick. Okay. I want to take this back to the garage, though, and see if there's any customization we can do to it. I kind of doubt there is, just because of the way, like, race cars are. You usually can't customize them very much, but we'll see. So let's see what we got. Visual parts. No way. Ah, Yeah. I'm very disappointed that I was right. We've got rims and calipers. Okay, I mean, fair. It's a race car. I mean, we can go in and swap some performance parts on, though, but I... Don't own many Rallycross ones, sadly. I never put too much time into the whole Rallycross stuff, i.e. why we were doing that race on normal. But I mean, a couple of boosts are a couple of boosts. Can't really complain. You know what I'd really like for this car, actually? I'd really like, like, a martini livery. That would be sick. Sadly, no one made a martini livery, so we'll have to do with what we can. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do in the old painting. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be allowed to paint all my cars blue, but it's just so sick. Look at it. Imagine the martini boat next to the martini Porsche. Oh my god, in blue. Incredible. It's so, it's like normal looking, but at the same time, it's a super capable rally cross car. That is so weird. Okay, well, I definitely think we need to take this to a race where we're not racing on normal. That would be good. We can do that one on hard. Oh, it says we need to be level 200. We're level 164. That's gonna be quite the ask. I'm just saying. Yeah, so it's all the same people in the race as last time, except now everybody else is about double the PI or performance level that they were last race. That's, um... 
That's not good. I, I'm gonna have a new goal for this race. I know usually on hard you're supposed to come first. My goal gonna be not come last. That's a good goal. Okay, come on. Look at everybody go. They're just so much faster. They're all just pulling away. This is impossible. I had a problem. Take two. Could we like try not to end up in the ditch this race? That'd be great. Let's just get some early overtakes in. We need the nice little corner cut at the start. There we go. Up to fifth. I'm sorry. Make that second. Okay, yeah, they're a lot faster. It's just ridiculous how much faster the AI is. It's like I would need to drive millimetrically perfect if I wanted to keep up. Oh, speaking of perfect, they had a problem. Okay, yeah, they're faster than me. I can't believe we're doing a race here with this jump. I'm finding the suspension for this car is way, way too loose. I mean, I could go and tune it if I wanted to, but it's just so loose and sloppy. It's like the wheels are legitimately coming off the ground. It's having a massive effect on the way this car turns. Like, it just doesn't turn as sharp as it should, and it's just like... Bleh. Apparently, I'm not gonna get my wish of not coming last, but at least I can take the epic jump once again. Man! Last place! I, oh my god, wow, you can actually see totally there that it's a rally car maxed out at 160 miles an hour. That's some gear ratios for you there. Let's go swap to the RS5 because that, I think, is gonna be a little bit more up our street. We're one, definitely gonna have some customization for it. Two, it's a street car, so we've got all the performance parts that we could ask for the thing as well as we're gonna be able to swap on a hella cool paint job for it, I'm sure. So I mean, stock this thing is no slouch. 450 horsepower, top speed 170 miles an hour. That is fast. All right, so we've got carbon fiber hoods, little slits in the hood, air vents, which way or another, that's cool. Now my question is, is what do I wanna turn this thing into? Do I try to make this thing like a sleeper car or do I go, yeah. It's a race car. I mean, can we wide body it? Oh, yes, we can. It's not super wide, but it is definitely wider than stock. I like that. Look how aggressive those wheels become. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. And if we're going to do that, I think we got to play around with this front grille. One of my favorite parts about the Audi is that quattro lettering in the front there. I don't know why. I really, really like it. I mean, if we could get that carbon fiber, I think that would be sick. Like, that looks so dope. Carbon fiber matches our hood. That's perfect. We can also get a carbon fiber side skirt. That's awesome. Rear fender, I'm liking the wide body life. Thank you very much. Rear wing, so we've already got this little lip on the back. We can make it painted, normal color. A big rear wing or a proper race wing. Oh, very cool. I like this though, that looks very Audi-like. I could see that on some Audis properly. And then rear bumper, what do we want to talk? Oh, the smoke tail lights. That is so cool. We've also got carbon fiber additions down on the bottom. That is cool. We could lose the big, oh. That also really, really goes with our build. Okay, I like that. We just need some rims that sort of go with the build. I actually like this. These are some like, these are, there's a couple different versions of Audi rims. Very cool. I really like these things though. I don't know why I just, I toss them on a lot of the cars. So let's do it. Let's make the rims a little bigger too. Why not? Part of me almost wants to paint this one color again, just because I like the clean look. But I, I don't know. Well, let's, let's see. Maybe actually I should go with like one of the fancy colors. Like I could go like metallic. Like a metallic red is so sick, or a metallic orange, or a yellow. Oh, the yellow's awesome. I think the yellow though, the black and yellow together, I think that just looks so sick. With like the carbon fiber hood, the carbon fiber in the front, black roof, black, uh, black rims, black wing. I think that looks really, really good. I like it a lot. Okay. And other than that, I think we're going to leave this thing the way it is. I just want to get some performance parts off some of my other cars so we can swap them onto this one. And then we could have a fully maxed out Audi RS5. So fully upgraded, level 280, 800 horsepower, Audi RS5, 230 mile an hour top speed. 
All right, I'm I'm okay with that. I want to go do a top speed test with this right away because that's a big claim, 230 miles an hour. Oh, look at those tail lights. They look so sick. I'm saying this is such a cool car. Like with the black wing mirrors too, I forgot about those before. There's 220 miles an hour. I wasn't even paying attention. 225 almost almost 230 228 come on come on okay we'll get the nos on let's see 240 as we hit a bunch of stuff 242 that is insanely quick for a normal audi that's insanely fast 369 kilometers an hour that's that's very impressive there we go and with the NOS. We get close to 400, but okay, not bad. Let's go do a race though. This thing is mega quick. I think it's this one and I think it's the the accident. That was the one I always did. There we go. Let's give that a go. I mean, hey, maybe if we're really confident, we could go for gold and go for ace. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You can't let me down now. It's going to be a challenge, but come on. Let's go. See what we got. Okay, if we could not run into every building, that'd be great. For sure, the other guys in this race are going to be quick, but I think if we put it to the test and this thing is really going to be... Oh, sorry. Okay, where's the... There's the barn. Okay, we're going to take the jump and then we're going to get into part two of the race. Come on. I mean, I get there. Oh, I, I think I jumped a guy. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Beat one minute and 30 seconds. Let's see how my memory is. Let's go. Let's go. A minute 30 is going to be pretty tough, but 230, 240 miles an hour is no joke. Let's go, RS5. Up onto the highway. Try not to rub against every wall. We're dropping a lot of speed. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to make it in a minute 30. Oh, I might have... I might have done too much wall touching in this thing. No. Can I nail it through the back still? Am I going to be able to get it? Oh, I hit the tree. Come on. Cheat. Cheat. No, no, no. Stop hitting everything. Oh, it's going to be close. No. Literally, I've hit everything. Every single obstacle. I think I just got a 30... Are you having a laugh? Okay, I can do a I can do a race on Ace. No problem. We got this. Okay, I know exactly where I'm going. I need my Motor Trend race, please. I'll be honest. That last race failed because of my sheer lack of driving skill. If I don't screw up, I got this. Let's go RS5. Jump to first position. Let's go. I put so many hours into this race. I want to get the dub. All right. Well, we've got first for the moment. I just want to see how long we can hold it. Oh, this car gets slowed down on the wall rides real bad. Okay, I don't know if that's an update, but damn, this thing got really, really slowed down. Okay, I need the draft. I need the draft. We're going to need to slam on the brakes or else we're going to get slowed down way too much again. Avoid the walls, drive safely, and we're going to get an ace dub. This car is so sick. Oh, the jump got us there. That's not good. There was a that's a heavy bounce going into there. We got a nice lead though. Come on, RS5. This is where we need that top speed. 200 miles an hour. Ripping it through New York. Don't hit the wall. We're good. Nice line through there. Another one through there. Final corner. Slow it down. Safely across the line. Oh, what a beast of a car. That thing is so quick. It's so stable, too. Oh, what a sick car. You know what? I might even I might even just say it. I, I think I might have a new favorite car. Like I said, I have always loved the Audis. And, and this thing, this thing is so good. It, it's definitely making me second think my choices about uh, car purchases, that's for sure. And it's like, I don't know. I love the customization. I love the style of it. 800 horsepower is dope as well. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. 
Those are the two brand new cars for February. The Audi RS5 and the Rallycross Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Obviously, both of these cars today have been built for very, very different purposes but are both very, very cool in their own regard. That's gonna do it for this video though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more Crew 2 gameplay coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon with some more Crew 2 videos. See you guys then. Bye.